Get the day going with a little bit of geek. What's inside the newest box of Bam Geek? Bam Geek, just to break things down for those that are new to the service. Bam Geek, or more importantly, more importantly, Bam Box, brushing the stroke across everything that they do, drop off at your doorstep every single month collectibles, replicas, and autographs. We're going to open up the newest offering from Bam Geek. And I have to also point out as well, one thing notable about this box is the size, the thickness of this. This is like one of those two-tier clubhouse sandwiches that you get at restaurants. I love those clubhouse sandwiches. Always be careful, of course, to make sure you're pulling out the toothpick before you bite down. <laughs> I, I have had that happen one too many times to even count. I think it was about four times that happened. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and cut the box, open up, check out the contents inside. And again, if you guys are interested and would like to get not just specifically BAM Geek, but any one of the BAM boxes available, you can go to www.thebambox.com. And don't worry, I'll write that. I'll put that down below. You don't have to write that on your arm or your forehead. Although if you want to write it on your forehead, you're going to have to write that backwards so you'll be able to see it correctly in a mirror. Did they actually make corrected mirrors, by the way? I'm throwing out just a question irrelevant, of course, the unboxing video here where you can actually see what yourself looks like without it being reversed. I'm asking for a friend. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and open up the newest offering. Where is he going off? Such tangents at the beginning of this video. Toothpicks, corrected mirrors. Where is he going? I hope somewhere into unboxing this because we've already eaten up a little bit of time. Let's go ahead. Eat up no more further time. I'm going to grab my knife here. Slice the tape that's on the front of the box. By the way, BAM box is for fans by fans. Stop yammering, somebody says in the background. I can hear you, sir. You weren't. I know you were deliberately saying that a little bit louder so I could actually hear you. Let's open up the box and see specifically why this box is so thick. The double tier clubhouse sandwich. Remove those toothpicks. First thing we have is uh, we have got some packing pillow, packing paper. We don't need that. We can put that to the side. Oh, this could perhaps explain why this is so thick. This is a uh, Lucha Libre edition, and it's been signed. Marvel Lucha, Lucha Libre. Why am I struggling with that? And this is Hel El Heroe Invicto. If I've mispronounced that, apologies well in advance. It looks like it's got, what is it at the top here? Echo Tech Protectors. Pull tap to start removing protective film. Well, I'm just going to leave the film. I think they're intact. On the back here, other hero Invictos. There's Arachno. I'm sure it's spider related. Oh, I see what they've done here. It took me so while, so, such a while to clue into what that is. Spider-Man, Venom. Hulk, I guess. Furioso. Oh, I see. Very clever. Very clever. I don't know what this one is. Captain America, perhaps? Although it's obviously not Captain America colors. Captain Marvel. I'm guessing that's Wolverine. And that's Deadpool. What is this one? This is, well, Hero Invicto. So I'm guessing, is it Captain America? If it isn't, please. Nicely saying it, of course. Let me know down below in the comment section. But it has certainly been signed. That's cool. I'm going to put that to the side. Also got ourselves some packing pill uh, paper. Why do I keep calling these packing pillows? Maybe it's because I want to take a nap. I'm going to put that to the side. There was nothing inside. I want to make sure there's nothing inside of that before I started moving things. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a patch. A Bam Geek patch. I could sew that onto my jacket. I think we just recently got one also in the Bam Horror Box. Two patches. I can have one on both shoulders. Nice. We're going to put that to the side. Also got ourselves a box. Feels like there could be a ball in there, like a rubber ball. Is there anything, any movies or TVs where there's been a rubber ball that's been used? Probably too many to count. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh, it's got some styrofoam in there as well. Maybe I shouldn't have been rattling it around. It could have been something fragile. Let's see if we can do this without breaking anything. Where's the opening to this? Oh, it's right there. Just blow off the dust here. Uh, the first thought I only had looking at this is it looks like the Cup of Christ from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's a little off in size. It would be probably a little bit bigger than this. But still, that's that's the guess that I was going to be going with. If this is supposed to be of this size, I have no idea what this is from. I'm sure I'll know soon enough. We're going to put that to the side. Somebody right now, frantically, keyboard, smoking away, trying to type in the answer of what they know that is. Hold on, sir. We'll find out soon enough. First thing we're going to have a look at, or I guess further what we're going to be looking at, 
is a poster of Morbius. I'm kind of excited for Morbius, I have to say, even though I... I'm not sure how that's really going to connect to the rest of the Marvel films. Does it have to really connect to the Marvel films? I say yes. Other people would probably disagree with me. That's nice. Jared Leto, I think, is a really good actor. I don't think he's really given too many chances to really show his acting skills. I saw... What was that movie he was in? Dallas Buyers Club. I just now remember the name of that. Dallas Buyers Club. That's a good movie if you want to see Jared Leto. And, of course, he was also an American Psycho American Psycho, great movie. Like that, I really do like that art print though. It's of a 2,500 limited release. It's been signed by the artist, and this one particularly is 100, 1,000, 1,000. I forgot to add that zero, 1,009. And let's see what else we have in here. Got a couple of other cards, tons of cards. Let's see. Bam. Where's my pin? We had this issue last time. The pins are stuck, and we have a rescue party out retrieving them. We will send them out to you as soon as we can. That's okay. I'm all right. You let me know when you guys are ready. Bam featured celebrity. Let's see what we have for the featured celebrity. Oh, wait, Mike Wingard. Oh, okay. So he's the voice of, he's the voice of Iron Man, but that's what threw me off. I'm looking at this. I'm trying to think, I don't know if there was a cartoon that was based on this, but he signed Iron Man. I guess I guess I see a little bit of Iron Man here. I'm looking on the back here. Yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. I guess that would have been Iron Man. Why did I guess Captain America? I can imagine why now somebody was so frantically typing that. Uh, yeah, he's done uh, uh, Iron Man for Avengers Assemble. He's done it for also What If? And he's also done Kung Fu Panda, not Iron Man related. I'm going to put that with that so I don't lose that. Uh, we also have inside the February monthly giveaway. You can get yourself a pinky signed by Ron Paulson. You can get yourself uh, a boys, well, the boys, Homelander signed by Anthony Starr. And you can also get yourself Nev Campbell signing Bonnie from The Craft. Although, although I got to say, Sydney Prescott would have been a little bit more interesting. Winners will be announced, or were announced, February 24th, 2022. How would one of one? How would one of one? How would one have one? Ah, maybe I do need that packing pillow. You would have scanned the QR code. That's how you would have won. Let's have a look at the insert card here. Artist Alley was Morbius. The collector's pin set would have been a Dalek and TARDIS, which would have been up here. They're sending us right now an IOU. It's going to happen sometime, sometime later on. Uh, the prop was the Holy Grail. Ah, it wasn't too far off. From Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's slightly small. And then the celebrity autograph would have been Mike Wingard, a voice of Iron Man. And there would have been actually two different Iron Man available. This one, I think I would have understood quite easier, quite easier, quite quicker that that was Iron Man. And then there was this one here as well. This is this is the one that we got. Pins are also desi designed by Addie, Addie Catterley. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. And art print designed by Danny Schlitz. Schlitz. I just like saying that. Schlitz. And that's what the chase variant looks like down below. Did I get the chase variant? No, I didn't. Regular variant is the red background. Chase variant has sort of got that nice off bluish gray color. But that was for January, January 2022. Playing a bit catch up now, I guess band boxes. But if you certainly would like to get autographs, if you certainly would like to get replicas, and you certainly would like to get collectibles, uh, search no further. You can click the link down below that will take you on over to BAM's website, thebambox.com. And then from there, choose which BAM box you like. I prefer Geek. I prefer also horror, of course. I'm a big horror fan. Those are the two boxes that I get from BAM regularly. If you'd like to get something, of course, a little bit different, you can click the link down below that will take you on over to their website and choose which BAM box is best for you. Also, while you're down there, if you don't mind me sliding this in here at the end, if you certainly are enjoying the content, have been enjoying the content, want to continue to enjoy the content here on this channel, you can hit the subscribe button down below. That is to say, if you haven't already done so, you can as well turn on the bell notification and you can also keep peepers peeled while we have wrapped up things here for an unboxing of BAM. But there de definitely will be more unboxings coming your way in the pipeline. So make sure, yes, you're coming back to this channel on a regular basis. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.